Hello and welcome, Connor here from Luxia Smart Homes and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an automation that utilises motion sensors to make your music follow you when you're walking around the house. Before we begin creating the automation, you're going to need two things. You're going to need some motion sensors and you're going to need playback devices in all of the rooms that you're wanting your music to follow you into. So starting off in a blank automation, we're going to add our triggers and our triggers are going to be all of the different motion sensors. So we're going to start with device trigger and we're going to get my room motion sensor and we're going to do start a detecting motion. So it'll go off when motion is detected and we're going to add an ID and we're just going to call this Connor's room. Okay, and we're going to add an ID for all of our different sensors. So what we've just done is added in all of the different triggers for our automation. And you may have less than this, you may have more than this. You are just adding in every single sensor for all of the different rooms that you're wanting it to follow you into. So if you want it to follow you into the living room and you've got a motion sensor in there, you would add that as another trigger. So just add as many triggers as you need for your circumstance. So now we're going to add a condition and this condition is going to be an AND condition because we're wanting to test if multiple things are true here. So first thing that we want to test is that Spotify is actually playing. So we're going to add device and then we're going to look for Spotify and we're going to make sure that the condition is playing. So if my Spotify is playing, we will carry out the actions. However, there are a couple more things that we need to check. Another one is our zone, so if someone's home, and I want to check if I am actually in the home zone, because again, I might have my Spotify playing, but I could be in the car, I might be at work, I could be anywhere else in the world playing Spotify, and if there is somebody else in my house walking around triggering these motion sensors, I don't want it to be pulling my Spotify away from my phone. Now to make this a little bit more bulletproof, we're going to add our third and final condition, and that condition is going to be a state condition, and we're going to be checking the state of our home zone, and we're going to make sure that the state of our home zone is 1. Now, because we've already checked whether or not I'm home, we know that if I am home and the state of the home zone is one, then I'm the only person in the house. Because if I'm not the only person in the house, I don't want this automation to trigger. If I'm just sat upstairs listening to music in the office and somebody else is walking around downstairs and they go into the kitchen, I don't want it to pull the music away from the office because that's not me. I'm not the one that's going into the kitchen. So now we've got our triggers, we've got our conditions, it's time to move on to the actions. And we're going to start by adding a choose action up here. Now within our choose action, we're going to add a condition. And this condition is going to be a triggered by condition. And we're going to be checking which motion sensor has gone off. So let's start at the top with my room. Now when my room triggers the automation, we're going to add an action and we're going to add a media player action and we're going to do media player select source we're then going to choose entity and we're going to choose my Spotify as the entity and the source is going to be Connor's room dot alright because that is the name of my Alexa device so now when I walk into my room it's going to check these three conditions it's going to check that my Spotify is playing, it's going to check that I'm home, it's going to check that I'm the only person in the house, and if all of that is true, it will then trigger the source change for my room. Now all we need to do is duplicate this option that we've set up for all of the other triggers. So for however many triggers you have, you should have the same amount of options. So I've got four triggers, so I need to have four options. So we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to change this to triggered by kitchen, and then we're going to change the source to the name of the kitchen Alexa device, which is just echo dot. And again, we're just going to duplicate this option and we're just going to continue doing this for all of the different sensors. So we're going to change this to office and then change the source to spare room dot. So again, that is the name of the device. And then for the fourth and final trigger, we're going to trigger by Tessa's room. And again, change source to Tezzer's dot. And there we have it. That is the automation actions complete. So you've got four triggers and they correspond to the four different actions down here. 
Now, before we can actually save and test this automation, we need to add in one more condition to all of our options here. So if we open up option one and add a condition, we're going to be adding a not condition. And then within that, we're going to be adding an entity and a state condition. So we are checking here to see if the state of an entity is not something. So the entity that we're going to be checking is our Spotify account. So mediaplayer.spotify. And then the attribute that we're going to be looking at is the source attribute. And then you want to set the state to the, um, the speaker that you are playing in this room. So at the minute we're in option one, which is my room, which as you can see when we're selecting the source is Connor's room dot. So we want to set the state of this to Connor's room dot. Now the reason that this is a really important condition is because it stops the source from trying to change if it's already playing on that device. So if I'm in my room listening to music and I trigger the motion sensor, technically it's going to trigger this automation and it will trigger this option and it would attempt to change the source even though it's already playing on the Alexa device in my room. So by adding in this condition, we are stopping that from happening. So if the Spotify account is already playing music on this Alexa device, then it won't do anything. It won't attempt to try and change the source. The only time that this will trigger, this option will trigger, is if there is motion in my room and if it isn't already playing in my room. So let's just walk through this one more time so that we understand exactly what we've done. We've set up triggers for all of the different rooms and those triggers are motion sensors. So in every room we have a motion sensor and what we're doing is we're detecting when motion has been triggered in that room. We're then moving down to our condition and we're checking that Spotify is currently playing. We're checking that I am in the house and we are checking that I am the only person in the house. If all three of those things are true and all of them must be true, then we will move on to our actions. Now our action is a choose action and within there we've got four different options. Now the option that is selected will depend on the trigger that is firing the automation. So if we look at option one, which is my room, you can see that it will need to be triggered by my room sensor and then it will also test to make sure that my room isn't already playing Spotify. Now, if it was triggered by my room sensor and Spotify isn't playing in my room at the moment, then it will change the source to the Alexa dot that is in my room. Now, this is copy and pasted for all of the other options. So if we look at option two, which is the kitchen, you can see it needs to be triggered by the kitchen sensor. We're checking that music isn't already playing within the kitchen. And if both of those things are true, then we are switching the source to the Echo Flex, which is in the kitchen. So now all that is set up and all of our triggers are corresponding to the correct actions, we are going to go ahead and give it a little test. So as you can hear, we've currently got Spotify playing in the bedroom, but if we make our way out and into the office instead, you'll hear that Spotify will actually swap over to the office. There we go, and you can see on Home Assistant it is actually triggered there. And again, if we were to go back over and enter, switches straight back over into the bedroom. There we have it. That is how you create an automation to have Spotify follow you around the home. So no matter where you are in the house, you will always have your music playing. Now, if you wanted to kind of have more control over the automation, you could add a toggle switch onto your dashboard to enable and disable the automation as and when you want. But with the three conditions that we implemented into the automation, there is technically no need to have this toggle switch because the automation will only run when you are the only person in the house. So it is a very bulletproof automation. And so far, I've been running it for a long time now and it has never failed, okay? It always works every time. But if you do want to add a bit more kind of manual control, you could add the automation as a toggle switch so you can enable it and disable it as you please. But for me, I like things to be fully automated. Now, if you did enjoy today's video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss any of our content and I will see you in the next video.